What happens here in the Nittany Mini Mark Mini Stocks class at McKean County Raceway? The Super Six Showdown here on this beautiful Friday night. Green flag goes in the air. Trevor Putt, Shane Putt, side by side for the race lead. Trevor Putt up top, and he will take off with his own ownership of that race lead. It is Trevor Putt, the race leader, as they head through one and two again. Shane Putt falling back in second. Good battle there ongoing for third. Gillespie on the inside has it. Bill Weatherly up top. He wants it. Bill Weatherly will take over the number three spot as they head through three and four. Weatherly. Everybody's still chasing the two Putt brothers up front. Trevor has the race lead. Shane Putt rides in second. But farther on back, a hornet's nest of cars. And it is led by the 28 seed of Preston Cobb. That battle is for fifth on the track as they work on turn number two. Trevor Puck, the middle crew, make easy work of the lap machine of Raiden Babcock. Good battle behind them. That one is for third. Shane Puck rides in the number two spot in that battle for third. Side by side as they head down the back straightaway. Three and four. Hunter Clark, he wants it as they head off to turn four. Back on the front straightaway. Flop in the number three spot. Trouble in turn three, the 73 of Weatherly got really low, got bottlenecked up on the inside, actually caught on the tractor tires, and he lost a lot of ground, got drop kicked all the way outside the top five, blocked to the inside and sideways off turn number two, somehow hangs off the car. Putt, Shane Putt that is, will slide in the number two spot again comfortably, but everybody's still tracing Trevor Putt up front. Shane Punk falling back farther and farther off the back bumper of his brother Trevor. Flock was to the inside of Shane Punt momentarily. Had that bobble off of turn number two. Lost a lot of distance to Shane Punt in second. And now under the gun from the two cop brothers as they head off turn number two. Trevor Putt again having a world of a time getting around the 3B of Braden Babcock. They were bobbing and weaving almost like Indy cars trying to break up the draft at Indianapolis down the back straightaway. But Putt finally gets around and clear of Braden Babcock on turn four. But that does allow Shane Putt to cut into that lead. Not by much, but Trevor Putt still with about a half a straightaway to his advantage. Question is if he can run him down. It's 
Let's see if he has enough time. Two laps to go for Hunter Flock now as he climbs the ladder through one and two. Goes way wide. Trouble off turn four. One car goes around the 52 end of Gillespie. Spins it around and the yellow flag goes in the air. Jeremy, there's that caution we were talking about. Trevor Putt did not want to see that, but Flock. They head through turns three and four. Trevor Putt, the control car, to the restart flag, to the green flag as it flies again. Two laps to go. Trevor Putt, he's got the race lead. He leads them back to one and two. Through three and four they go. White flag goes in the air here at McKean County Raceway for the Nittany Mini Mart Mini Stocks. Great launch off turn four that time by Trevor Putt. Flock falls back by about two car lengths as they hit the back straightaway for the final time. He'll take the high side. Trevor Putt out of turn number four will pick up the Nittany Mini Mart feature win. fans give it up for the 4P of Trevor Putt. Well Trevor congratulations on the victory back to back to back three in a row for you here at McKean County Raceway. What have you found out there that has made you so fast? Uh, honestly the line was what the fast line was different tonight than than it has been. I didn't find that out till about halfway through but tracks always nice. Uh, the guys we race with here are clean, nice, just a good all-around environment. I tell you what, you got to ask, and it's got to be a killer through your mind when it happens. Two laps to go, you hear that the yellow flag is out. Walk us through what you're thinking in that moment. Yeah, like I've said before, you just don't know who's behind you. You don't know if they're faster than you. You know, it just makes you nervous, definitely. When you're coming to that restart and you know that the field is behind you, what, what's your approach to hold them off knowing there's only two to go? Honestly, just, just hold your line, be consistent, do what you had been doing the whole time. And if they're faster than you, they're faster than you. There's nothing you can do about it. Well, you held them all. Congratulations on three in a row here at MCR. Thanks, buddy. One more time for Trevor Putt in the 4P.